Anime Apex Gamester, and welcome back to episode 5 of my adventures on the Rack server, the Random Acts of Crafting server. Um, at the end of the last episode, I just ran out of quartz trying to make my uh, fountain for the center of the dive farm slash park thing. Um, and since recording that last part of that last episode, I have gone to the nether, I have mined some quartz, and I completed the fountain and ready for the big reveal. La -da -da -da. There it is. It's uh, quite simple, uh, but I think it looks pretty cool. And there it is, all the way around. And I used stone slabs in the center and stone slab columns for the watery featuriness. So I think that looks pretty cool and I'm happy with it. The only thing that it's now lacking is the pathway around it. So, and there's Alk. So I will say hello to him. And then I will swiftly tell him that I am recording and then he should leave me alone. But in all seriousness. <laughs> um, so yes, pathway. Happy weekend. Yes, it should be. Ah, shit! That's definitely not what I wanted to do. Uh, luckily, because of the uh, stone slabs, they're half slabs, so the water won't actually come through. Uh, yes. So this is... But uh, Alchemy69, he's a pretty cool guy. He um, helped me with the nether portal. And he's helped me with various other things. He's you know, one of the main helps uh, getting me started in this server, getting me a tour. Showed me all the amazing things that they have lying around. So big thanks to him. Of course, there will be a link to his channel in the description of this video, as there is with every other member of the server. Many of which I am yet to meet. Okay, so I will start the pathway in the usual kind of fashion. Uh, do, 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 do. Currently recording. Just basically follow this pattern all the way around, and it'll create a nice central area for the park. So this is not really a park. I'm probably the only person that's going to spend time here, but you know, I want it to look nice. Ah, I think I may have balls that up a bit. Yes, I did. So let's. Uh, Doing that one first it was not good. Uh, there, and there, and there. There we go. And now, if I use the shovel again, I will just do a continuous circle because I don't know where I'm going to intersect with other pathways. Um, so I think, yeah, it's just probably going to be easier to continue on as I am. Um, and then if I need to create any different areas, I can. Uh, of course, I go to three here. When I uh, go around corners, hopefully this is going to look pretty cool, though. Yeah, so I will start off this side as well. Go 
gone too far there. I think I may have. Uh, no, I think I think I'm absolutely spot on. I'm probably going to have to make another shovel in it, but I've got the resources on me to do so. Yes, that happened. It's okay. I'm going to finish this one completely on camera. Uh, I'm going to need to go and get more sticks. It's okay. A quick run. I still have to make a roof for this. I still do. Because I have not done it yet. And that's what happens when stuff is there. That slime is still outside. Get on my nerves. Um, I may as well make the shovels in here. I'll make three or four. There you go. Did I? Shish kebab. Uh, let's get rid of that for a second. Put away some unnecessary stuff. So I won't be needing that, that, and you. Um, wood, dirt. There's plenty of dirt that I can get rid of. Just to free up some inventory space. Ah, come on. You're caught on the stairs there. Okay, and then we continue on. Da -da -da -da. Shoveling dirt. Makes you feel like a man. Towards the end of the episode, I might start on the on the permanent perimeter perimeter fence. I've got a couple of ideas. I've been seeking inspiration on the internet, and I think I've found a couple of things that I, you know, a couple of little ideas that I would like to try. A couple of little design thingies. So I'll we'll see how that works out. Ooh, there we go. Ah. And of course, now's the time that I needed the the axe. Oh, Christ, let go. It's okay. Uh, it seems to be getting dark, so what I'm going to do is place a few torches, because I've destroyed a couple while doing this. A spider did spawn over in that corner on the last night that I was working. So that was not ideal, but I uh, he despawned and then I put a, another torch there. So hopefully that'll help with that. There's this Enderman. It's the same one every time, and I always recognise him. I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna piss him off because he. Or shall I? No, I'm gonna leave him alone for now. But he keeps coming back every couple of days and keeps, you know, making his weird noises at me like a pervert and he's making me feel uncomfortable. I'm like, back off, Enderman. Yeah, I started to get dirty phone calls from him. Just <laughs> ring, ring, I answer, and it's like... <laughs> moving random blocks. Luckily, he hasn't dismantled anything yet, though, so... I shall be thankful for that. Uh, yes, then... You. Yes, that's what I needed to do. Seems to be going rather smoothly. One, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's you guys. Is that all the way around now? Yes, and as I said before, I can use, uh, I can place everything that I need to place, and I can always change it uh, when I make intersecting paths. Go. I need to make some more of these stone steps momentarily. Ah. 
I know your game, Mr. Don't knock. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, so we have a zombie, and when there is more, usually, uh, encourages more to spawn. Uh, that is Enderman damage there. You cheeky little shit. There's a skeleton over there, but he doesn't seem to be bothered. And yes, here we go. More zombies coming. I did think that they couldn't spawn or climb over, but they seem to have. Oh, and another one just right there. It's usually the case when you've broken that threshold of that one zombie, more tend to follow. I'll try to keep them at bay during the course of the build. Uh, let's make those stone steps. Uh, those two stacks. There, and... One, one, two, three, four, five. Of course, I don't want too many there. Twenty-one. Yes, that's plenty. Now I will follow this around. Finishing in a timely manner as to not uh, encourage the approach of the zombies. Suddenly that guy over there knows his place, although he has an enchanted bow. I'd quite like to see if he would like to drop that. Concentrate on the task at hand. Of course, this always happens to me. I'm sure there's a trick I'm missing, but I'm not really too bothered about it. Uh, if I do that, and then I do that. There. No, it's happened again. I'll work it out. Don't worry. There. And then. Ah, oh, Jesus. How did that even go so bad? Okay, how about that? I go there, then I go there. And there. No. <laughs> I know. I know how to do it. It's okay. If I just do this, is that I'm sure I'm going to get slated for it. I'm sure people are going to go, oh, you know, you can just do this and this and this. But I've done it now, so, you know, you can back off. And I will fill in the gaps with dirt. which will form to make lovely grass. And that is the central fountain complete. And lots of fun times shall be had. Hey, First dip in the fountain. But yes, that is the goal of this part of the episode. And in the next part, I'm going to do a quick cut and sort of do a small section of this of this perimeter fence and see what I think of it. So I will see you shortly. Okay, we are back, but as you can see, I am not at the die farm and you can hear zombies. I am in the Apex Gamester branch mine, which is uh, just off to one of the directions uh, of the die farm. And I'm gonna start running here because this thing is huge. Um, but I realized that I was quite low on some resources, uh, diamonds. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of redstone stuff as well. Um, so I need a lot of redstone. And you you should see the returns that this place is getting. You know, I've... Uh, with the old trusty fortune pick that I have here as well. I have generated or found and discovered quite large quantities of stuff. Uh, so there's all of this. This is nowhere near uh, any of it. So let me dump off some of this unneeded crap. Because I'm going to need to transport some uh, back to the storage. So I want to take as much of this as I can. All this redstone... Oh, 11 left over. Come on, is there something I can leave behind? Uh, 
leave behind those 16 torches. There you go. So, there's all of that stuff there. I've already done one supply run back, so... Yeah, that's fine for now. Uh, I can see that it is just about morning, if I look at my clock down there. So if I head up, and I, so basically uh, a branch mine, if you do not know what a branch mine is, is uh, it takes on the form of a tree, which is why it's called a branch mine. You create your trunk, which goes all the way down. Um, I put it down to level 11, which is where the diamonds are usually found. And if I can remember which direction, it's this direction, this, because you can see the pylon. Pylons serving their purpose. Um, yeah, so I made the branch mine because I wanted some more diamonds, basically. I was fed up of using di uh, iron tools, and my mouse is playing up. Come on. I need a new mouse. So, if you guys want to recommend a decent mouse... There we go. See, I'm confused. I went in the wrong direction. Uh, then let me know in the comments what mouse I should buy. Because I need a new one. This one sucks. I got the Logitech Performance MX or something or other. And uh, it probably only needs a new battery, but, you know, screw it. I want a new one. Um, so when we get back over the fence here, the the, uh, the dirt wall, you'll see that I started on the design. And there you go. You've got a sneak peek at it just there. But if I jump... Ah, oh, of course I hit a branch. Okay. It's not embarrassing. Oh, this mouse... Well, there we go. Hey! So, as you can see, I don't remember if I've already shown this part off or I've changed this to wood. I think I have. I'm not I think I did. I'm not sure. I've done a lot of drugs. That's not true. Um, so, this is the, the surrounding fence wall thing that I wanted to build. The pattern's quite simple, although I think it's effective. I wanted to get, again use dye, because that's what we're selling here. So, um, Although I'm thinking I may need to move the whole pattern one block upwards so I can do this lip, top and bottom. I have yet to decide. This was, again, just a little sample, but this is what I want going all the way around. So that's interesting. And also, I want to make a start on the house. I've got a few ideas for the house that I really want to, you know, while they're in my head, I really want to get them down. Um, and that will come in the next episode, probably. Uh, and then also, I want to start populating this area with flowers. I mean, I have a few. I went on a small scouting adventure. If we, oh, hello. This mouse again. You also notice that I have labeled all of the boxes with, you know, general things. So we've got dirt in here. We have wood in here. We have nethery stuff in there and some extra dirt and gravel. Excuse me. Stone. We have coal and sticks. We have iron and various redstone. We have so much redstone now. In fact, I think redstone's going to need its own thing, its own chest. So, look at all those diamonds. That is 80, that is 90 diamonds in just, a, well, I mean, it was probably a couple of hours of uh, branch mining. Uh, 42 gold. I already have quite a bit of gold and then plenty more iron ore. But look at all this freaking redstone. And that's something that I do want to get into with the redstone. I, I've been learning a few things off camera, and I've been, you know, trying to get to grips with the things that they do with the redstones. And plenty of lapis, which I am looking forward to uh, using in the next episode. In the next episode, in the next uh, update, where you, where enchanting is more uh, about the lapis. There. Tons of coal. Absolutely tons of coal. And that's exactly what I wanted. Um, so, yeah. Also, uh, something that was not 
uh, organized until the last minute is that we are going to have a special guest, another member of the server, Eternal Beta, who is a very talented builder. And he is going to show us some of his works, uh, which is going to be really exciting. And, you know, you're really going to give this guy credit for, for some of the stuff that, they, that he has built. And, and the same with the other guys on the server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to complete the perimeter fence. That's what I'm going to do off camera. I'm going to complete it. And I'm going to see what it looks like. Uh, then I am going to start maybe doing some flowery things. Be putting some different flowers down. I have a ton of bone meal as well. Um, courtesy of the skeleton farm that we have here on the server. I nabbed a few stacks of bones, which is very nice. Um, also, I was kind of thinking maybe I wanted to do something else here as well. Because I, I want to change the name of this project. Not to the dye farm, but maybe the dye park. Because it's very difficult to farm the different colors. I mean, most of it just can, you know, you need bone meal, you need a lapis, you need, you know, various other things, which you can't actually farm. I mean, obviously you can farm, farm bone meal, but I don't have a skeleton spawn here, so. So it's gonna be more like just a, a, a park area um, with a squid farm, you know, some nice public-y building-y things. So I was thinking maybe I could build a statue or a monument or something maybe in this corner I wasn't sure and that's something that I'm gonna sit on and think about uh, so yeah I'm gonna do those things and I'm gonna think about maybe something that I want to do here some more structure uh, which I think would look very nice so for the rest of the episode it's going to be me and eternal beta okay so what uh, I know you've been talking in your videos that you wanted to see some of the other stuff on the server as well definitely what i know chill and elk were the ones that gave you the tour right yeah what so what have you seen of mine and what haven't you seen uh i don't know exactly what is yours and what isn't i've just seen various things okay not necessarily did... been accredited to anyone in particular ah, okay did you see have you been to the desert palace yet uh i believe so is that the one with the glass roof yes yeah but we can go there again i don't mind okay yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, that, people that on your first. channel have not seen it that's right exactly and that's what i want to do that uh it's kind of it's kind of an, an abandoned project i i don't know I, I think maybe i was just working on it for so so many hours and yeah. just so long straight that uh i just kind of yeah I got, I got especially after putting up that roof oh man that glass ceiling yeah i heard so, you were just gonna tie a desert for that thing um yep yeah, pretty much. Yeah, we had a, a sand quarry at one point, but it's now kind of just a wasteland. This is something else I still need to do, uh, is actually sort of little I don't know, substation, I think we're calling them. Yeah, um, a sub-hub. Sub, yeah, I think that's what uh, Alk refers to it as. But uh, I finally got it to the size that I wanted it. And uh, yeah, sand quarry doesn't really exist anymore um oh, i never put my sign back up that's interesting but yeah so i finally got it to the size that i wanted it to someday i'll get back to this maybe yeah maybe so if we walk over this way i'm right behind you what i actually did do one of the last things i did was uh kind of set up another portal area here this was a pain too because this was actually open to the world while i was working on it yeah, that's exactly so, what I had with the, the lapis line. So pretty much everywhere, instead of enclosing it, I decided to just kind of leave it open. But now I can look out and laugh at the guests. It is nice. Oh, but you went invisible on me for, for a second there. So if we come through here, we actually come out in one of my favorite projects that I've made on the server. That's my uh, little sewer slash catacomb area. What's funny is that this ended up uh, this it ended up luckily being my portal room, but uh, when I first started it, I had no plans for the room whatsoever. Okay. I just decided, hey, I want to do this. Yeah, and, I saw uh, this on one of your live stream videos, actually. 
Right, right, yeah. Um, I really like how it turned out. I, it became, like I said, one of my favorite projects. Yeah, it's got some nice touches. And it, it's, it was fun because it was something that I've never actually built before. So, but if we head up here, get up to the main part of the base, and of course it is... Oh, well, the good thing is is that we won't get rained on, at least here. Ah, uh, cool in the careful, woods. careful. Uh, yeah, so this is the, the kind of the main hub area of my of my base, yeah. and people and get a kick. Yeah, this is this people is get a kick out of the stairs. Things. Oh, people I get a kick stairs. just because people look at it and go, "Wait a minute, how does that work?" It's that carpet and that's that stone fence blocks. Is how does it? Yeah, uh... yeah, because normally you can't jump on top of stone fence blocks because they're uh, a block and a half tall, yeah. technically. But uh, it actually all starts right here. Yeah. And my inventory is packed, of course. Rotten flesh, get out of here. Well, I guess I shouldn't throw the rotten flesh away because there's going to be a use for it. So basically, Ooh, by... by uh, you can actually trade the villagers in 1.8. Uh, I've always got plenty of that left around. Yes, yes. It always uh, seems to... That, like, no matter where you try and organize your chests, you always have, like, a stray piece... Oh, of course. Zombie flesh. Always, always. But yeah, so the uh, putting the carpet on top of the uh, stone walls actually boosts you up a tiny bit and just enough to get up to the next one. Yeah. It's, it's kind of... Uh, it's it kinda, awesome. Yeah, it kind of uses the same concept, I guess, as we're going up already. Uh, it kind of uses the same concept as uh, if you've ever seen people put a piece of carpet on top of, like, animal pens so they can get in and out. Yes. Uses the same thing. Uh, there's not a whole lot up here. I did ha have a lot planned, but I do have my enchanting set up there. Um, I never 100% decided what I was going to do up here. And oh, I, it looks insane. I, I, I might. This this actually top area was, I think, I don't know, like, probably like at least five or six blocks taller than it is now. Okay. And I just kind of chopped it down to... Uh, Get it. And like we were mentioning, if you look straight up, you can just barely see the glass ceiling. Ugh. Yeah, I that... don't know if anyone will actually like comprehend just how much work is in that. I... It doesn't look like a lot right now, but believe me. That's a very, very so large much... area. Very large area. It took me a long time. It was not fun. I, I Do you know how many exact blocks I of glass are up there? Do not know. I know it's I know I I tried to calculate it. And then realize that it, it's got to be like over twenty thousand. Ouch. Yeah. So that took a while, but on it's dedication for you. And I guess I should mention the reason that I did that um, is because in one point seven they changed it so that it snows above a certain elevation, and my base happens to be above that elevation. On an extreme <laughs> I think, hills biome, right? On an extreme hills biome. So I think anything above ninety two, uh, it snows. So, desert palace and snow do not go well together. So they I decided to just hand hand, no. yeah. So I just decided to do that. So I was paying. So if we come back through here, this is you get kind of a an overview of the courtyard ish area. Uh, this I haven't seen, so this will be surprising. Oh, okay. So you haven't everyone. haven't actually been out here. Um, I started setting up some animal pens over there, and. Uh, this was a this was also a lot of blocks. This, if you see where it's kind of cut into the mountain, uh, yeah, on the right hand side there, that yeah. basically this whole area was that tall. Ouch! So, needless to say, a lot of block clearing in this area. Yeah, you're seeing some dedication here, people. I don't know. There's something something about just doing stuff like clearing blocks in Minecraft that's kind of therapeutic. Uh, for the first hour or two. Yeah, you get you do have to kind of uh, pace yourself. Uh, this was going to be, I think, like my potion area and uh, armory area. Never got around to that, but if you come in here, I don't know if you've seen uh, my storage room yet. Nope. No. I love building storage rooms, and decided to build like, a it, yeah it's a like much the... much larger area than I needed. Yeah, inventory is like the what would the word be? I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I'm, just, I'm just in awe. Slam chin on the desk and looking at everything, and I want it all. 
I, I'm very happy with how, how this room turned out. It went through a couple of revisions, uh, but I used some... Uh, the, actually, the, la the very last thing that I changed was the ceiling. And that was kind of a pain to do. Oh, I didn't even look up. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stairs up there. And working with upside-down stairs is not fun when you're going around corners. Yes, I know. Oh, I just ran into the wall in my own storage room. He's drunk. Yeah. Yep, apparently. But I am very happy with how it turned out. And thing is now, should. thing is now with my uh, my new base, which I'm not going to. Uh, have you been out to my new my new base yet? Uh, I have no idea yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, it is kind of a long walk, so maybe we can save that for for another time. Um, plus, yeah, sure. my uh, not a lot has changed since the last time I saw it on my showed it on my channel. So not a lot new there. Yeah. Well, it certainly looks amazing. And this is Eternal Beta. He's also on the server with me, and I will post a link on the screen to his channel now. Ding! <laughs> As you're just now introduced me. Yeah, well. They get that uh, eventually. But I think that's pretty much it for this base. I mean, there's not a whole lot. Like I said, there's... It's a, it's kind of a big, empty shell right now. You know, there's nothing down... There's really nothing in a lot of places. I had never decided what I was going to do with the courtyard area down there, whether... I was leaning towards kind of setting up like a, you know, like villager bazaar down there. Yeah. Little stalls, but like I said, maybe I'll get get back to this at some point. It kind of looks like one of those towns in Skyrim, you know, with the big walls all the way around the outside. Right. I've forgotten, I've forgotten the name of it, but yeah, there's oh. big gates to get in. Oh, I can't remember either. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, this uh, the walls look very ugly from the outside <laughs> because I never did the outer shell. But that's expected. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I think it's one of the things that uh, you don't really get a lot of times when you're looking at a server is in videos everything looks perfect and neat and tidy and then you actually walk around and see it and you're like, oh, look, there's just a big hole back here. And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now, there's actually another nether portal down here. This is what I was referring to when I was talking about fountains before. This is a design that I, I've been using uh, probably for about a year. Something about it, it's simple, and it just works. This is nice. Coming soon to a build of mine soon. I, I, I wanna, I'll I probably incorporate that into my new base. Uh, this is like a awesome courtyard. You should do like jousting here, if you could. Hmm. You could have rows of seats. I could probably figure out something. Oh, that that you know what that might be actually be kind of interesting to make it into some type of arena or something of that yeah, nature. I kind of thought about building an arena, but I have lost you. Oh, I don't no. know where you are. There oh, you are. Yep. I just kind of wandered off. Yeah, there's not much left in here. This was kind of uh, the temporary location that I was using to for storage and sleeping and everything while I was building everything. Yeah, that's fine. Not much left here now, but uh, I think that's going to do it for this little tour. I think we've seen absolutely enough. Um, <laughs> wow! But then, you know, this is why I wanted to show people right. around and have you know you guys show what you've been building. Sorry, right. Just, something out there just caught my eye. Something in the distance. Some Can you see? horses. Oh horses yeah. Horses in the pen out there. Yeah, I have uh, I have two horses down there that I never ride for some reason. I know they just caught my attention. Then I have a very short attention span. <laughs> if you could see my head, it's just like a little thought bump. A bubble just appearing above my head with a monkey clapping symbols. You even know what I still have in here. Oh, whoa! I forgot I have uh, five sho five diamond shovels in here. Hmm. That's always good to find. Yes, but uh, yeah, like I think I'm money in your pocket. Yeah, uh, I think I unfortunately am going to have to cut off the tour here because I have somewhere to be. As we all do, I have work in the morning, so I'm probably going to cut here as well. Alrighty then. So, uh, Apex, thank you for uh, for joining me and showing off what you've been working on. It's an absolute pleasure, and thanks you for doing the same. Yep, no problem. All right, guys, well, I will see you next time.